Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima and today I am going to try something new which is called Transfer Me Sheet which is from Dress My Craft. This is an digitally printed sheet just like a sticker which can be transferred on any base material like wood, plastic, glass, leather, metal, painted surface or even a journaling card. So in this video friends, I'm going to show you two different techniques to place this transfer me sheets with two different effects on base. The first one is an antique look and the second one is a gold look. So friends, do watch the complete video to make it yourself as this is the easiest DIY ever. And do subscribe my channel for more creative art painting videos. And do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. Now let's quickly check out all the materials. For this DIY, first of all, we are going to need a transfer me sheet as this is the main element of the video. So you're going to need one. You can select any of the designs from the links given in the description box below. This time I'm going to show you two different effects. So I'm going to use two different designs of transfer me sheet. For my base, I'm going to use a canvas board of 10 into 12 inches in size. This is already primed. Other than that, I'm going to use two to three different colors. For priming, you can either use a primer gesso or else you can also use acrylic color. So here I'm going to use a white, some gold pigment to give that antique effect. You can also use gold sheet if you want as I have done in a sample test so this is a gold sheet i have used for my base a brown color which is a 446 a flat hair brush number eight and a sponge for dabbing if needed so let's start the video now friends now first of all let's start by measuring the transfer me sheet with the base we are going to use so you can clearly see it absolutely fits the center of the canvas board and from two sides we have quite a space so this is where we can give some extra effect now first of all friends we will start by placing our transfer me sheet on the base and take a rough measurement of your base and the sheet as the sheet i'm using is a a4 size quite a big size sheet and the base we are using is a canvas board of 10 into 12 inches in size so there is about half inches remaining from both the sides and that is where we can do some extra designing or layering part to give some extra effects so first of all friends i'm going to use a black gel pen and roughly make the design edges in this way and then using a scissor we will be cutting the design now friends using a scissor i'm going to cut the black marking we have done to get that rough shape of the paper this is a knot and compulsion step you can also place it directly We have got a fine cutout. So now friends, let's start our next step which is coloring the base and after that we can start placing the transfer me sheet. So I'm going to use brown acrylic color and using a flat hair brush, I'm just going to color the edges of the canvas board in this way. Now friends, in the same way, I'm going to use a little bit of white color in my paintbrush. Dab, dab, dab on the sides, inner sides of the brown and mix it lightly with the brown color in this way. Now using the same white color, start coloring the center as white. After doing the coloring part, I'm going to use a round hair brush and just a little bit of gold pigment and I'm going to sprinkle it all over our base. So now friends, this is how our base looks. I absolutely love that we are doing antique look. So now we will let it get dry for 15 to 20 minutes. Till that, let's move on to our next step. Now friends, our base has got dried up completely. So let's begin our next step for which I have taken a large plate over here and I'm going to pour a lot of water in it. I think this is enough. 
but this is still smaller than the size of sheet I do have. As this is quite a big sheet, I don't have this much big plate to show you that. Now friends, start peeling out the sheet from any of the one side in this way. Be very gentle and you can clearly see a transparent layer coming out. Okay, place it aside and now you have to turn over the sheet in this way and then place it or completely submerge it in water. Just after a few seconds, we are going to start placing it on our base right in this way. Now friends, start dabbing the sheet in this way in our base. I can clearly observe, you can clearly see that this sheet started moving and it easily slides away in this way. And wow, so this side is much more brighter than what I expected, but it's just a bit sideways rather than center, but I think it's okay. I'm going to clean out just some excess water and now I will let it get dry. Now friends, after placing the transfer me, this is how our canvas looks. The transfer me is being placed very smoothly, but as I was in a little hurry, it got a little bit tilted. As you can see here, if I would have uh, got some more time, I would have placed it exactly where I wanted it to be, but still I'm satisfied with the result. So now friends, let's check out the next way how we can place the transfer me sheet. Now our first step, for any other surface like wood, glass, tin or MDF board is always to prime our base and then start doing this DIY. But this time as I'm going to use a canvas board and this is already primed and its color is also white so I'm not going to use any primer or gesso to reprime it. So now I'm directly starting with placing and gold foil and for that I'm going to use Mod Podge. You can also use the gliding glue. I do like to make it a bit thin so I'll be pouring just a little bit of Mod Podge on the sides in this way. Wet my paintbrush and then spread the Mod Podge all around in this way. Place Mod Podge on the sides also. Set it aside and till that let's cut out the gold foil. So here's the gold foil I'm going to use. At a time I will be cutting two to three sheets only and I'm going to directly cut it half in this way. You can clearly see how delicate they are so be very gentle while placing it. Place it and then just let it go in this way. There's one more much simpler way is to pick up the gold foil with the sheet and then slide it across and place it gently. So you can easily press it as well and you get a very very clear print. Do the same for this side also. Now after placing gold foil on all the four sides, this is how it looks. As I don't want to keep the sharp edges of the gold foil, I'm going to use some white acrylic color and a flat hair brush and start merging it in the base which is white. So this is how you have to do it. Just start merging it in this way and use some excess white color on the gold foil dragging it on the outwards direction don't do any heavy dabbing just a light bit is enough So now I have finally done a finishing touch so that there are no heavy edges of gold foil remaining. It's just a soft covering. If you're not comfortable with a brush, you can also use a sponge and just dab, dab, dab the paint 
so this kind of edges are not at all visible so now friends i will let it get dry for at least 20 minutes and then we can start our next step of placing the transfer sheet okay now friends after 20 minutes our base is completely dry and this is how it looks the gold foil looks very beautiful and bright as you can see in the first process as we exactly followed the process i was in a bit hurry because the paper was wet and it was absolutely ready for application and that is also a reason that i have got the image a little bit tilted it did not come exactly as i expected it is just 5 or 10 degrees tilted that i can notice from close if you look to the words otherwise it's not at all noticeable from far distance but this time i'm going to take a different approach towards our second attempt so this time friends we are going to remove the entire sheet and directly place it on our base without wetting it so gently remove it and then hold it very very gently take your time before placing it so this is a way where you can exactly place the sheet where you want then take a sponge dip it in water and finally start adding water on the top of the sheet keep your sheet tilted i have kept it slant in 45 degree angle and first of all i'm going to just spread water all over the sheet it absorbs water quickly and then i'm going to start pressing the sheet press the sheet completely make sure that there are no air bubbles anywhere now it is easier to tilt i'm going to press the entire surface making sure that there is a no air bubble And now friends, in the same way, the sheet actually slides and you can also remove it from one side. So now friends, this time I absolutely got my expected result. It absolutely looks as I wanted it to be. So now we will let it get dry for at least 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll show you both of them together. Now friends, after 15 minutes, the transfer me sheet is dried completely and this time I have exactly placed it where I wanted it. As you can see, the writing is straight, the flower is exactly as it was given in the sheet and I absolutely love the gold foil as you can see here. It's so bright and this method is my favorite. So now friends, let's start our final step which is to use varnish and give a final and protective layer on our DIY decors. You can either pour the varnish in a palette and then start using it or else as I'm using a big flat hair brush, I'm directly starting to spread it from the center to outwards. This is a very good quality varnish as I'm using high gloss Liquitex varnish. It gives a very beautiful glossy look to your paintings or any decor. You can instantly see the effect as soon as you apply the varnish. So now leave it to get dry for at least 15 to 20 minutes and then it will be absolutely ready. So the same I'm going to do on this one. Now friends, this is how beautiful both our DIY works look together when all the steps are finally completed and the varnish has also got dried up. I love both the looks. My most favorite would be this gold one because gold is my absolute favorite. I also love this one. It is so simple and elegant and it also matches the flowers. Both the themes I selected are absolutely based on the flower and the pattern. I hope you did like both the techniques I have shown you in this video as this is a very very simple DIY which can be done by anyone. So do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below which is your favorite technique to apply the transfer me sheets. The first one is dress my craft and the second one is done by creative art. And if you do like my videos friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.